Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video for you about black and whites in Lightroom. There are three sliders that if you are not using them for your black and whites, I think you're missing out. Uh, they can really transform your black and whites. And I just want to dive right in here with this example where I've done my basics, right? I've gone in here, I've chosen a profile, you know, hit the auto button, let it do its thing, went into black and white, hit auto there, let it do its thing. Say, okay, I've got a good baseline. The three sliders I want you to pay attention to is in basic. And the first one is contrast. Somewhere along the line, Adobe's auto button doesn't really do much with contrast, but it's really important for black and white. So I'm gonna push this up and it's already just that one slider. This photo is so much more dramatic. Before and after, that in and of itself has made this a much better photo. Second and third sliders down in presence. Clarity, you're gonna get that for more uh, edge detail. Again, it's pushing contrast, but in a slightly different way. And then for this photo in particular, texture. I mean, I like you know textured black and white photos, all of those details up in this, uh, this stonework here. But those three sliders, let me go back three steps. One, two, three. This is what I had just taking auto and, and the black and white auto. And then after adding contrast, clarity, and texture, I'm already on the road to a much stronger black and white photo. I'm gonna go finish this off with some uh, dodging and burning, kind of, you know, coach the light through this photo a little bit more. But uh, the key takeaways, contrast, clarity, texture. Make sure you're using those sliders when you're doing your black and white conversions. You'll have stronger photos for it. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.